I think we should help each other work towards, just to aim towards being safer and keeping each other safer. Um, but I just also wanted to say, one, there are many different kinds of beautiful. There are many different ways to look healthy and beautiful. I know personally for me, the body that you've been comparing my current body to was the unhealthiest version of my body. I was on a lot of antidepressants and drinking on them and eating poorly and at the lowest points of my life when I looked the way you consider my healthy, but that in fact wasn't my healthy. Um, and I shouldn't, I know I shouldn't have to explain that, but I do feel like maybe having an openness and some sort of vulnerability here will be something my good might come from it. I don't know. I don't know, but that's the first thing. Healthy can look different. The second thing is you never know what someone is going through. So even if you are coming from a loving place and a caring place, that person probably is working on it or has a support system that they are working on it with. And you never know. So be gentle with each other and with yourselves. And thirdly, um, the third one's unrelated, I guess. I just wanted to extend some love your way and tell you that you're beautiful, no matter what phase you're in. Um, by the way, I'm not wearing eyelashes or eyeliner right now. This is my face, these are my eyes, so don't freak out about that now too, please. Oh my God. But <laughs> yeah, sending you guys a lot of love. And I think you're beautiful, no matter what you're going through, no matter what weight, no matter what, how you like to do your makeup these days, no matter what cosmetic procedures you've had or not, or anything. Um, yeah, I just think you're beautiful and wanted to share some feelings. Have a very beautiful day. And I'm sending you a lot of love.